Hey there and welcome to this short video where we're going to briefly go through how to create a breakthrough themed video. So we're going to take you through the whole process very quickly from start to finish, how to create a video, edit it and get it ready to be used as a breakthrough training video or whatever its purpose is. So the first part of the, the process is to film your video, pretty simple. Uh, and that really is up to you. We're not going to tell you what device to use. I would use the device that you have. If you've got a camera like the one I'm using, go for it. Use that. If you've got an iPhone like this one here, go for it. Use it. The only thing that you need to make sure you do when you're filming any video, if you're using your iPhone, camera, whatever, is have it pointing this way. Do it in landscape because when we upload our videos to YouTube, our website, other places, they like landscape videos. So put it in landscape. You can have someone else stand there and hold it and film it for you. You can pop it on selfie and do it yourself. We really don't mind as long as you get the content in and everything that needs to be said and everything that needs to be seen, go for it by all means. Um, my other piece of advice with recording a video is to plan what you're going to say. You will probably be surprised once you get in front of the camera how much you forget what you're going to say, how much you cannot remember the order of what you're going to do things. Plan it out, have some clear steps, have a practice and make it nice and concise. Generally videos go longer than they need to so try and keep it concise as I will now. I'm going to leave that point there and push on to the next part. Well, actually that's about it we've got for filming the video. Once you've filmed it, you've got it on your device, we're gonna get you to then put it on your computer. And the next part of the process is working on your computer to develop a thumbnail for it and then to upload the video. So the next part of this video, will now be looking at a screenshot of my computer to show you how to do that. All right, we are going to go through the next part of creating a video, which is how to edit it once you've got it on the computer. So this, uh, for this part, we're assuming that you have filmed your video, probably on an iPhone. You've done that in landscape, not portrait. Uh, you've then cropped it appropriately and put it on the computer ready to work with. So I've got my video here for my welcome to creative video. Uh, the first thing we're gonna do is create a screenshot. So for that, we basically just wanna find a frame in the video that we think looks nice and represents the video. So I'm just gonna scrub through a bit here, find one where I look a bit happier. Oh, no, not too sure about that. Let's see, what have we got? No, look half asleep. Uh, that'll do, that's close enough. And then I'm going to take a screenshot of that. So on Mac, the uh, I'm working on a Mac, the keyboard shortcut is Command Shift 4, and then you just select the part of the screen. I'm not sure what the keyboard shortcut is on Windows, but it shouldn't be hard to find online. But you'll quickly select it like I did there, and now I've just made that an image. If I then go and have a look on my desktop, I'll see that I've got a, a screenshot created just like that. So that's ready to go. The next thing we're going to do is go to the Breakthrough website. So this is uh, breakthrough.org.au forward slash style. This is our page with all our style guide and our graphic creation elements and assets. If we scroll right down to the bottom here, you'll find the creating videos uh, section and a file here to download templates for creating video uh, thumbnails. So here we're going to click on that, it'll open up Dropbox and there's a PowerPoint file in there which has the templates for all of the thumbnail creation. So you can download that, I've already downloaded it here and it'll open up a file that looks like this. Now note you might find that your, um, they might not look exactly like this if you don't have the correct fonts installed. So if that's the case, um, don't stress, just go back to the Breakthrough Style page and you can see there's a section here for fonts and you can download the fonts that we use for all, all our breakthrough styling and then you should be right to go. So I'm going to come here um, you can see we've got one of these for depending on what type of uh, video it is, what department of the church. So my video is for creative so I'm going to pop it in there and I'm going to put the title in here. So the title of this is Welcome to Creative. I'm going to have to drop the size slightly to make it fit. Oops, center that off again. And then here the subtitle, so um, uh, just a, a brief overview of what the video is about. So it's a brief overview of 
um, Breakthrough Creative and our Vision. So we'll pop that in there. The final part is to then change this picture behind to be your thumbnail. So I'm gonna delete that nice picture of myself, come back over here, find the screenshot I took and just drag that in. And that's actually already sized it up perfectly for me. For me. Gonna go up here, say send to the back. And then if I drag my gradient back up there, just like that, my video is nice and ready to go. I might just edit this gradient a little bit to make it slightly less transparent. Slightly more transparent, sorry, so you can see a bit more of me. And we are ready to go. Make sure everything's nicely aligned and nothing's moved around too much. I might just need to drag this picture out to be the whole, the entire width. Okay, now we're going to just select all of that, right click it and say save as picture. I'm gonna go through and I will put that in the same location that my other video is in. So I've got my uh, welcome to creative.mp4 video and I'm just gonna call this welcome to creative thumbnail and hit save and now if I go to that location welcome to creative I've got my video and I've got a welcome to creative thumbnail that looks like that ready to be the thumbnail for the video so the final step now is to uh, upload this or, or send it to where it needs to go um, this file these files obviously well this file's not too big, but the video file will genuine, generally be quite large. This one's 600 megabytes, so that's far too big to send via email. So for that, we're gonna use a, a process or a system called WeTransfer. So if you simply go to wetransfer.com, agree to that there, add your files. So I'm gonna take both my thumbnail file and my video file and just drag them in there email them to admin at breakthrough.org.au send them from my email address with a brief message hi team breakthrough here is a video you could obviously explain what the video is hit transfer and that's going to just take some time to upload that video onto the internet onto the cloud and then send it through so that the team breakthrough, whoever's in at the office can download that video and they can then put it on YouTube, on the church website or wherever it needs to go. So that is it for creating a breakthrough video. I hope that was helpful and makes sense and happy video making.